Hello Sagittarius, this is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Look at this. Jumped out. The magician. What's been going on for you guys? Making shit happen, okay? Um, feeling confident. I'm, I'm feeling like you're initiating new things in your life in general, like phasing out the old and bringing in the new is what I'm getting here. New beginnings. Okay. Definitely for you guys. That is Gemini energy. Uh, maybe Virgo, Scorpio, even. Okay. Let's see what's been going on for them. If you guys are interested in a personal, please check out the website, pinkarianjim.com. If you if you have trouble with that, um, accessing that, then uh, shoot me an email at allforone.oneforall74 at gmail. All right. Let's see. Ooh, somebody's been feeling like they, they, they've been stabbed in the back. Um, <laughs> whew. but you see, they're coming out of it though. And the Ten of Swords, whenever I see the Ten of Swords, it just makes me feel like there's, there's a lot that this person, you know, feels like has hurt them, but it's almost like placing all of the blame on someone else when, you know, we all have a responsibility ourselves. Um, so with that being said, this is like um, ego at play as well. I feel like they're coming out of this. I feel like they are, um, they've been playing the blame game for sure. But I feel like they're putting that to rest. They're putting that to bed. They're coming out of this energy um, where they have been trying to place all the blame at your doorstep. Okay. Strong Gemini energy there. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you guys from them. What's keeping Sagittarius from them? Ooh. Double energy there, Capricorn. Hmm. Maybe you guys felt like there was a lot of codependency in this relationship. That maybe this person was um, manipulative. Psychologically manipulative. Maybe you felt like they had narcissistic tendencies. Um, that is what I'm getting here. It's like, um, mind games, lots of mind games. You still feel strongly connected to this person though. Either that, well, definitely that, but I'm also getting here that Some of you guys have done like some self therapy because once you've been involved with an emotionally, psychologically manipulative individual, sometimes it takes some counseling, honestly. Even the strongest person can fall, um, I don't want to say victim, but susceptible to people who who basically do this kind of shit for a living they manipulate people um they they bend their words they bend your words they do certain things um to try to get you to behave in a way that they want you to okay and that's what i'm feeling coming from you guys it's like mm, no thank you although you still feel strongly connected to this individual what's keeping them from you Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person is on a financial endeavor. Okay. They're starting over um, somewhere. Okay. With something. 
something tangible, something mundane. I don't feel like this is um, a relationship, though. I feel like there's something that they see um, success in. And, um, and I'm thinking they're using their mental energy for that right now. And maybe not so much to manipulate someone else. Also, I see you guys working very hard. I think you're trying to start something new as well financially. Maybe some of you have just started a job that you're really, really focused on or has opened up a business or something like that that you're truly focused on right now. Okay. What's currently going on for Sagittarius? Death. Change. You have all majors right now. So there's a lot going on with you guys currently here. You're really trying to detach from anything that you feel like is not good for you. Anything toxic. Okay. I feel like you're pushing away. You're putting certain things to rest. Um, there's a lot of change going on within you. And and you you are facing your fears. You're dealing with with those issues within yourself. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are like doing some self therapy. OK, which is commendable. Hmm. For a lot of you too, addictions, you know, addictions is what's keeping you from this individual. Maybe maybe they have something else besides being manipulative that they have going on that you really can't get with. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's currently going on for them? Eight of Wands. A lot of change, I feel, going on with them. This person is probably traveling. Um, they're moving around. They're communicating with people. I feel like, you know, they probably have a job where they converse with people all day long. Okay. And I think that's what's taking their, their mental focus right now, which is good. You know, if they're using it for good right now, um, I feel like that's wonderful. They're probably trying to communicate with you and they're probably trying to change for you guys. What I'm getting here is that this person may have been, if you haven't been in contact with this person, like haven't spoken to them on the phone or haven't, you know, shared text messages with them, emails with them, what have you. I feel there's something that they're doing that you may not be privy to via the internet. Okay. But there's something that they're doing to try and um, influence the situation with you. Okay. I feel there's definitely change going on within them for sure. But I feel like they're trying to communicate with you. But I don't know if you know this. Okay. What's influencing Sagittarius? Walking away from bullshit. This is walking away from the devil energy, from toxic situations, toxic people, um, manipulative energy, addictions, codependency. That little girl of mine. That's Piscean energy there. Okay. You guys are on. Let's see. What is influencing them? What's influencing them? Four of Cups. <laughs> this person is stubborn. They are really... It's like they're trying to... They want to reconnect with you guys so very badly. But I'm getting that they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know just how much they sit and think about you guys. The Four of Cups is falling under the Eight of Cups. 
if they left initially, they want to come back. And I think that's the reason why they are, they're trying to get your attention some kind of way. And I feel like they are in their downtime. They're sitting and thinking about what they can do to reconnect with you. I'm feeling that they're very emotionally manipulative. Hmm. What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Ten of Cups. Beautiful. 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 The ultimate emotional fulfillment. Walking right to it. It's right above the Eight of Cups. That's where you're going. That's what the change is. Once you remove yourself from that devil energy, face your fears, remove the addictions, remove the toxicity, you're walking right towards your happiness. Yes, you are. Love it. Pisces energy there as well. What's coming in for them? The star healing. Healing, healing, healing. Very good. Very good. You guys may be far away from this individual. They feel like you're their soulmate. Most definitely. They feel like you're their soulmate. And I feel like they're trying to reach you, but you seem so out of, out of their reach right now. You seem so out of their reach right now. You have the eight of wands right next to the star. There, there is some, some healing that is coming in for them. Um, but they're very stubborn. I feel like they're fighting it though. They feel like you're their soulmate, but they are fighting change. Although I see change, I see movement. But they're sitting there with the four of cups with their arms crossed like, nope, 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 nope. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> you know, like that. What's advice for Sagittarius? Advice for Sagittarius. Three of Wands. Go towards what you deserve. You know what you deserve. More importantly, you know what you don't deserve. Okay. Aries energy there. Do not settle for less. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Do not settle for less. What's advice for them? King of Pentacles. First thought comes to my mind is be a man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the first thing that came to my mind when, when I pulled that card was be a man. Be supportive. Be caring. Be genuine. Be grounded. Be stable. That's what I get. Be more controlled. Not be more controlling. Be more controlled of yourself. Be more in control of your emotions. Of how you spend your time and energy. Where you devote your time and energy. Devote your time and energy in a more positive direction. How about showing your love and not being stubborn? Okay? Be this person. Not this person. This is for them. Because this is almost like throwing a tantrum. This person holds their own. 
They're proud of who they are. They're proud of the people that are in their circle, the people that they care about here. They stand up for those people, not tear them down. Okay. What's the outcome here for Sagittarius? Justice. You get exactly what you deserve. Well, all right now. Doing what's right. Getting what you deserve. Okay. Balancing out karma. Beautiful. Libra energy. What's coming? Not coming in. What's the outcome for them? justice. This could not be more just wow. Just wow. They get what they deserve too. Whatever that is. It's not our justice to deliver. Okay. So I love it. Beautiful. Okay. So we have Aquarius here. We have Cancer, Aries, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies here. Gemini, Libra, mm, Virgo, I feel, I think I already said that. Scorpio is definitely here. Pisces is here as well. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.